Right. Family members of a 19-year-old Columbia woman speaking out now after she was shot dead inside her car. I didn't think she needed, she called on us. Three sisters. And I couldn't breathe, man. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm mourning the loss of a young woman they called their sister. And I know I should have told her I love her if I know that was her last day. 19-year-old Raynesha Nixon. Her cousins say she left to drop a friend off. I love you so you know, much. I lo yeah, I love you and I just want her to come back. Yeah. It's here on Charles Wood Drive. Police were called at 5.30 yesterday evening. They found Renisha Nixon shot in the upper body. The Richland County Sheriff's Department say they were called to the area after a reported car crash. Authorities say Rainisha was taken to the hospital where she was later pronounced dead. Rainisha leaves behind a one-month-old baby who police say was in the car with her at the time of the shooting. The family are now calling for justice. Please help us find whoever did this because she did not deserve this. She is innocent. In Columbia. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trey back again. Hit you all with another video. Hope you all having a very great day. Hope you all had a very great weekend also. My weekend was very great. I know a lot of you all may have missed me toward the latter end of last week, but I was very busy at my other job. Had a lot of things to do, but your boy is back in full effect. Anyway, y'all, we have a story out of Columbia, South Carolina. Yes, big shout out to everybody in the great state of South Carolina and everybody in the great city of Columbia. And also, I want to send out a big shout to one of the members of the family, I'm not going to say no name, who sent me this story. And my condolences goes out to number one to you and also to Renisha and also to her child and also to the Nixon family because this is very troubling. I mean, you would think that a mom just had a child and the child just turned a month old, matter of fact. You would think that, you know, everything would be peaches and cream. You know, it wouldn't be no problems, no worry in this world. But let me tell you something. There's a such thing called haters in this world. Yes. Even though this video do not have anything to do with hating, it does have something to do with hating because this woman was visually shot in her car, in her, in her SUV, to be uh, more exact, with two children in the back, including her one-month-old child. Now, you would think, who would want to kill a 19-year-old who just had a child. I'm led to believe most likely, number one, is some guy from her past or some female who's hating on her. If you look closer, you will find the uh, suspect. That's all I got to say. And also, uh, she was killed around 5.30 p.m. on Charleswood Drive in the 200 block. So you mean to tell me around 5.30 p.m., this whole street don't have no surveillance camera, nobody has a damn camera on their house, no camera on a damn uh, street light or whatever, I mean, it got to be some kind of way that we can find out what vehicle the person or suspects were driving that shot into Renisha Jeep Compass. Now, also one thing I want to say also is a big shout out to the pastor who goes by the name of Dr. Malcolm Taylor for number one, for help raising awareness and also for putting together a drive to help support the one month old. Well, he was basically asking for formula and also other things that you can donate to the church and also money, if you will. You know, to help the one month old child since the one month old child mom is gone. And you know more than anything, a child, especially at that age, it's the most critical time. That child needs his mom more than anything. So big shout out to the pastor and the people of the community for standing up and coming together. But I'm not going to tear it too long. I want to dive a little deeper. I'm going to read a little snippet from this story. And I'm going to give my opinion. All of it. Surely, as we go. 19-year-old shot dead in drive-by with children inside the vehicle. Now, what kind of person, number one, is going to shoot somebody, but what kind of person is going to do a damn drive-by like this, the damn 80s or 90s and stuff in South Central L.A. or some shit like that? And trust me, I know because I stay in L.A. with drive-bys every damn day. Anyway, the Richland County Sheriff's Department is investigating a drive-by shooting that killed a woman who had several children in the vehicle during the incident. And also... What's so troubling, like I said, is the fact that the police canvassed this whole area and not one person said they know anything. True, you may not know anything, but I'm sure, I'm sure that somebody have a damn camera, some damn well. I mean, how many times have you sat in your damn house and you heard gunshots ring out? True, some of you might hit the ground, some of you might take cover, but some of you also look out that damn window or go outside and be nosy. So you mean to tell me not one damn person, not one person seen a damn thing? On February the 4th, around 5.30 p.m., too damn early. Deputies were dispatched to the 200 block of Charleswood Drive. Sound like where a bunch of shit go down. By the Columbia Fire Department in reference to a vehicle 
accident. Upon arrival, deputies said they found the 19-year-old who was shot in the upper body. Poor thing, poor thing. Just starting out in life. Didn't even have a damn chance. I mean, didn't even make it to 20 years old. This goes to show you, you know what I'm saying, all be aside, why you must, you must cherish every day of your life. Now, you can take it for a joke if you want to, but it won't be no joke when you lay up there on that cold slab and everything and the autopsy getting ready to perform on you. It's not no joke. Life is very serious. Cherish every damn day. You like this song my mom used to listen to years ago. It always takes me back. Every time I hear stories like this, they had a song about cooling the game called Cherish the Love. You know, you must cherish every day. If you love one another, cherish that because one day it's going to be gone. Whether naturally or whether somebody hurry up and expedite it. Anyway, now according to the Richland County Coroner, Nada Rutherford, her name is Renisha Nixon. And my condolences number one goes out to her to her child. And also, you see this little pretty, innocent baby. I mean, don't it just melt your heart. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I didn't even have no plan on doing no story today. I'm not going to tell no lie. I didn't have no plan on doing a story because I have a lot of other things going on right now. And true, your boy ain't forgot about y'all, but when one of my team members showed me this email, it broke my heart because the person sent me a, a email. And true, I get hundreds of emails every day. So, if I'm kind of late getting to your story, some stories I may not ever get to, it's nothing personal. It's just that I can only do so much. You feel me? But, when my team member sent me this email, well, basically showed it to me, it broke my heart. You see what I'm saying? Because I can feel that person's pain. So that was the real reason that motivated me to do this video today. Because number one, it wasn't even on my heart to do this. But after reading that, I mean, I had to say something. Because number one, look at the child. And number two, look at the young mom. Neither one of them deserved this. Anyway, let's finish. Now, according to the incident report, Nixon was driving a 2008 Jeep Compass traveling on Charleswood Drive with someone. Someone, some bastard, and an unknown vehicle fired through her window. Now, what person is going to shoot through somebody's damn window? That's why I say it's personal. Whoever this person was, a male, female, or whatnot, most likely I'm thinking that it's a damn male because most women, I mean, unless you're just a cold-hearted bitch, you know what I'm saying, you're not going to sit up here and gun down a damn mom because you can kind of relate to that. You know what I'm saying? Men don't know what it means to be moms. We know what it means to be dads, those who take care of their children. But you understand what I'm saying. So I'm led to believe most likely that there was a guy that did this. Now, I may be wrong, but I'm rarely wrong. But anyway, now they said there was an unknown person that fired through the vehicle of the window. Nixon attempted to drive away after being shot but lost control of the vehicle, the report states. Nixon then hit a tree and rolled onto the property on Charleswood Drive, deputy said. Now, imagine if you're driving something. That's one thing I... That's one thing I hope never happened to me because I'm going to unload back unless I'm hitting the head or something. And even then, I hope God give me the strength to unload back. I'm going to put the hunch on you. You want to play cash? Okay. I'll play with it. Come on. Okay. You want to play what? Okay. Hello? Say hello to my little friend. Well, let me tell you this right here. If I got to go, I'm going out with a fight unless you just get me in my sleep or something. Because trust me, it's going to be like the OK Corral. It's going to be number what? Smoke, 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 smoke in the city. Anyway, now, several children were inside the vehicle when the shooting happened. All victims were taken to Prisma, Richland, deputies said. Deputies canvassed the area for witnesses and was unsuccessful. You mean to tell me not one person even seen a damn vehicle? I mean, damn, if you can, give us at least the vehicle description so we can pretty much track the car down unless the car was stolen. And then we'll be still one step closer because, number one, we can put two and two together because maybe they left fingerprints. Maybe they left some kind of forensic evidence or something, some hair samples or something. Well, hair follicles, what they say. Or maybe they left a cigarette or a drink or something. Something they put their nasty mouth on their lips or something. Something you can get DNA on. I mean, where there's a will, there's a way. Anyway, let's finish. The vehicle is being processed by the sheriff's department. Deputy said during the investigation, new information was obtained about the initial incident, which happened a block away at Westbridge Road. A search warrant was conducted at that location. Now, let's go back and repeat this real quick because this is very critical to the whole damn case. It says, deputy said during the investigation, new information was obtained about the initial incident that happened a block away at Westbridge Road. A search warrant was conducted at that location. The incident report stated that the deputy arrived at Prisma Richland and made contact with the victims who were turned over to investigations. If you know anything about the shooting, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-CRIMES, and that's Crime SC. Anyway, sad situation, but something must be done about all this senseless killing that's going on. I mean, just put yourself in the victim's shoes. You see what I'm saying? That's why I go so hard 
for the victim because I have had people close to me that have been murdered, family members, and also a lot of my close friends. You feel what I'm saying? Now, true, true. You know, some of their cases still remain unsolved, but some of them has been solved. But it's a lot we can do with our voice and we come together for what's good. Just think if that was you and think about this little poor child who would never grow up to see their parent. I mean, it's a damn shame. And we as a people, we must do something. I'm not saying that we can find a suspect, but at least try. At least try. That's all I can say. But anyway, you let me know what you think about this in the comment section. And once again, big shout out to the pastor, Dr. Malcolm Taylor, for putting together this drive for the baby so the baby can have certain things it needs. And also, there's a donation link that's still up. I will leave a link below so you all go check it out also. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share this video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. Have a great day. Love one another. If you can't love one another, separate from one another. The last thing you want to do is try to hurt somebody. Trust me, what goes around comes around. You read what you sow in this world. So if you do dirt one day, you're going to get dirt, whether it's you or someone you love. So treat people right. Live by the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And your life will be so much simpler. You can rest better at night. Anyway, I'm out.